The mind is an incessant machine, relentlessly working, thinking and analyzing. What should I cook today? Should I invest in bitcoins? She is being mean to me. How will the world heal itself from this pandemic? The mind keeps questioning without a pause. Where there are more questions and less answers, more reasoning and lesser understanding, a big clogged mesh of reasons and judgments. So contest chair and my fellow Toastmasters. Let us take a step back. Does all this big thinking help us in finding solutions? To understand the materialistic world better, why don't we deep dive into the past? Age-old Hinduism believed in the signs of simple practice. Curious? Well now, the Fibonacci series was discovered back in India, way back in the 2nd century BC. But back then, there weren't graphs, charts or formulas for adequate explanation. So the simple Hinduistic approach took to weaving the Fibonacci in the daily lives. How? By means of Sanskrit hymns and poems that were narrated in the Fibonacci rhythm, mathematical, literary and scientific texts were handed down from generations to generations by sheer word of mouth. Complicated science had found its practice through simple poems. Centuries later, another story. With a stick in hand and a minimalistic khadi cloth to wear, this ambassador of simplicity won wars against colonialism, merely through simple practice of non-violence. Yes, my friends, I speak of Mahatma Gandhi. His simplicity instilled change in the heart of colonialism. Another timeline, another story. I, as a girl of 11 or 12 years of age, am lying on bed suffering from severe tonsillitis and flu. I vaguely remember distressed faces of my parents consulting with doctors, hoping for my recovery. But there is another thing, however, that is not so vague in my memory. For it is in those darkest times when I got first introduced to yoga. The soulful meditation or pranayama that finally helped me recover from that flu. Singhasanam, that finally healed my tonsils. That was it. And we flash past to another age in time, namely this day. A war is raging. There is a humongous cry for help. And we have been asked to sit inside our homes. But our minds are not relaxing on the couch. Our minds are absorbing, like a sponge, the news around us, the everyday happenings, and the mind is constantly thinking. Stop. Don't overthink. Let us fight this out with simple changes, even from your couch for that matter. Take a deep breath. Practice deep breathing. The yoga of Anulom Vilom. has proven to be effective against asthma and tonsillitis. Keep the phone down for 10 minutes. Go out into the sunlight and practice Anulom Vilom. When agitated, close your eyes and utter the Om thrice. This guttural sound of Om has the frequency of 136.1 Hertz, which has proven to be of the same frequency as the heart's core. 136.1 Hertz is also the frequency of the Earth's rotation around the Sun. Stop worrying. Say the Om and try bringing your mind to tick in unison with the universe around it. They say the Earth is now on a detox mode. Let's help her. Take a simple step. Replace meat with plant-based legumes and pulses. I'm doing the same since the 6th of March. 
and add a little turmeric to your beverages. It has anti-inflammatory properties. Well, simplicity, as they say, is the antidote for toxic thoughts and self-detrimental behavior. Break the thought pattern. Aspire for simplicity, like Gandhi did, like the age-old Hindu saints did. Simplicity is a way of life. My experiments with simple living have been successful so far. Let me know how yours went. Thank you.